Welcome back to the Nutrition Made Simple podcast. At Healthy Steps Nutrition, we believe something as fundamental as nutrition shouldn't be complicated, which is why we focus on a simple habit-based approach when working with clients. We know that becoming the healthiest version of yourself isn't just about telling you what to eat. That's why we look at a holistic approach at Healthy Steps Nutrition. We look at sleep, support systems, stress management, mindset, exercise, and of course, nutrition. We work with clients to create a customized plan paired with accountability and support to help them become the healthiest versions of themselves one step at a time. I'm your host, Nicole Coyne, registered dietitian and founder, Healthy Steps Nutrition, CrossFit HSN, and HSN Mentoring. I'm also the author of The Healthy Kids Cookbook, 100% kid-approved recipes the entire family will love. You can find it on Amazon. In this podcast, we will be teaching you how to take one step at a time to become the healthiest version of yourself. Today's guest is Hoku. She is a nutrition coach at All Kind CrossFit in Maui, Hawaii. She was a nutrition client first at All Kind CrossFit with Joanna, the owner. As Joanna grew her nutrition program, she knew she needed to bring on someone who believed in the nutrition philosophy she was coaching. Hoku was the first person who came to mind. Hoku went through the training to become a Healthy Steps Nutrition Coach after losing the last 30 pounds on her journey to losing over 90 pounds. She is so passionate about helping people make health a way of life, and I'm so excited to share her story on today's podcast. For more information about the nutrition program at All Kind CrossFit or to find a Healthy Steps Nutrition Coach near you, click the link in the show notes. We will get to this episode right after this message. Are you enjoying this podcast? Please share your thoughts with us. You can follow us on Instagram or me on Instagram at, at Healthy Steps Nutrition or me personally at Nicole underscore RD underscore HSN please send me some topic ideas that you want to hear more about. The goal of this podcast is to inspire listeners to take one step at a time to become the healthiest version of themselves. Today is the first day of the last month of 2021. I challenge you to not think about waiting until January 1st to make changes. Start today. What's one thing that you can commit to adding to your routine to help you become a healthiest version of yourself? At the end of this episode, I'm going to give you some of my classic and best tips to help you make health one step at a time and really become the healthiest version of yourself. Enjoy this episode with Hoku. Hoku, welcome to the Nutrition Made Simple podcast. Hi, thanks for having me. It is quite early where you are. You are in Hawaii, which I have to say is one of my p- favorite places we've ever visited. What time is it there right now? Uh, Four ten in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for getting up super early to share your story. I'm so excited because you've honestly been through an amazing transformation yourself which has inspired you to want to help other people and become a nutrition coach at All Kind CrossFit. Correct. Yes, it's been quite a journey and I'm loving it and I can't wait to see where else I'm going to go. <laughs> well, talk to me about five years ago, you made a decision, hey, I'm, I'm done seeing the number on the scale that I'm seeing and I'm ready to make a change. What happened in that moment for you to decide you needed to make a change? Um, my daughter told me that she was pregnant and I was going to be a grandma. Oh, and that's when I was like, okay, I need to be, I need to be healthy. I want to be around for him, you know, as long as I can be. And I knew I needed to, I needed to make changes. Awesome. Okay. So you decided you were going to make some changes. What was your lifestyle like a hundred pounds ago? Well, I mean, really, I, I, I mean, weirdly, I did work out, you know, I thought I was doing everything right. I was trying to lose weight. I was trying to be better. Um, but it just, it wasn't happening. Um, and then after she told me she was pregnant, I knew I needed to, to focus a little bit more, reached out to my doctor, tried to get some, um, medical advice that way that didn't work. Um, of course, then I hit the internet, you know, so then I started dieting. I started restricting, my calories. So yeah, I, I lost the weight. Um, but all in all, I didn't really feel good. 
you know. Um, so four years later, I dropped about maybe eight, 70, about 70 to 80 pounds. Um, but I, I didn't feel strong for sure. I didn't feel um, good. I didn't, I, I lost weight, but I didn't look good. I mean, I can look in pictures and I didn't look, you know, um, so I had to, I knew I had to do more. <laughs> and what did you decide to do when you decided you needed to do more? So I reached out to All Kind CrossFit in Wailuku, um, where I met Joanna and she kind of, so she told me about their CrossFit program and then right there, she mentions nutrition. And I was like, oh, that's where I think, you know, I'm lacking, you know, I didn't have energy. Like I said, I didn't look healthy. I, I mean, my skin was very, I mean, people tell me now that I'm glowing and I look younger and all of this stuff. And I'm just like, really? Because, you know, it was just weird. And then, so she told me about this nutrition thing and I was, I went all in, I was like, I need it. I want it. Give me everything, you know? And then, so that, that day she, she, she reached out with me with, with the meal plan. She talked to me about macros and, and hitting my protein. And I was like, Oh, you know, I, it was weird. Cause you, you learn about all of this stuff. You can do all the research on your own. And then, but to have someone there to kind of be like, Hey, this is what we're, what we got to be doing. And I was just like, wow. You know? So then I followed the program. I started making some of the recipes that were in the meal plan that I was given. I was tracking my meals and making sure that um, my calories, I was eating enough calories. I was eating enough protein, you know, carbs, what I have to eat carbs, you know, <laughs> like this was just like, are, are you sure, you know, should it be lower? Like, I think it's too much. You know, in fact, some of my friends were like, that's a lot of carbs that you're eating. And I'm just like, but it was all healthy carbs. You know, it was from the fruits. It was from uh, vegetables. It was from complex carbs, um, sweet potatoes, you know, that became like one of my go-tos. And so just learning about all of this stuff, I was able to really feel better, which is what I was striving for. You know, I could run, I could lift weights. Um, it was just, it was the moment I couldn't even believe what a simple change, you know, just learning about all of that was. You kept, you keep saying one word learning, which I love that you're saying that because that's the goal as a coach, right? We want to teach our clients under, to understand what a healthy meal looks like, how to prepare meals that are balanced so that you do have that energy. You do feel better. Your skin starts feeling better. Yeah. So I love that, that you keep mentioning learning because that that's the goal of a coach to teach you and hold you accountable. Not just say, here's a meal plan. Here's a piece of paper and follow it, right? Like the goal of those the meal plans or sample meal ideas is really just to give you an idea of what a healthy balanced meal looks like, draw you to the website where there's a bunch of different recipes that allow you to, to pick what looks good to you, not feel like you have to follow a piece of paper to be successful. Right. Exactly. I love that. So you started on day one with nutrition and fitness at all kind CrossFit with Joanna. Talk to me about how that process was and you have since lost 10% body fat just from making those changes, doing nutrition and fitness. Talk to me about that journey. Um, it was easy, you know, <laughs> like it was, I mean, I say easy, but it, it really was like, I just used the tools that were there, you know? And then when I, when I needed help, I had someone to reach out to. I had someone who, who was right there with me, you know, like if I, if, if I didn't know something, she would help me to at least, you know, give me the right resource, um, uh, just be there to, to guide me. And I didn't feel alone. So, I mean, I used the word easy because it, it really was, you know, I took something that was so complicated and that I struggled and stressed about, and it now became something doable and reachable and attainable, um, and at the same time, I was learning. And the more that the more that I understood what was going on, the more I could apply it to my own life. You know, and of course, now as a coach, I'm able to use that entire experience and help others. And that just makes everything just come kind of full circle. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, it's it's interesting. So you went through the journey. You, you know, it took you a quite some time to lose that significant amount of weight, you start realizing the value of a coach with Joanna and you're like, Hey, I think I want to help others. Did you approach Joanna? Did she approach you? How did that whole thing come about with you 
starting the process one year ago, almost now to become a nutrition coach at All Kind CrossFit? Um, Joanna kind of saw it in me. Um, so when she kind of was trying to um, look for another nutrition coach for, for our All Kind CrossFit, you know, she kind of was like, you know, I think you would be good at this. And normally I'm, I'm not one to go out and um, especially where I have to I'm kind of an introvert. Let's just put it on. I'm just going (laughs) to say it, you know, and, but it's, it's weird because the moment that she brought it up to me, I was like, yes, that is exactly what I want to do. That this is where I think I should be. This is what I should be doing, you know, and it's, I didn't hesitate. I was like, what do I need to do? This is what I want to (laughs) do. That's amazing. And so you were not a CrossFit coach when you became a nutrition coach. No, I was Nope. And this is a really good point because I I talk to gym owners all the time and we look to identify who's going to be a great fit to help support this role and help be the face of a program to, you know, support all of the members because as an owner, you can't, you cannot help everyone. You need people just like you. And, and the cool thing is when you, you find someone who's been through their own transformation you know better than anyone, you can relate better than anyone with how this journey is not a straight line. And the challenges that people go through that I haven't lost a hundred pounds. So you are able to relate to someone so much better that needs to lose that hundred pounds because you've already been there. Correct. Yes. It's, and, and for the ones who, um, who struggle, you know, it's, I do, I feel that, that empathy, you know, like it's, we got this, you know, like we're just going to take it. And that's what I think is, is, is important that what I kind of learned is just, it's just understanding why, understanding how, understanding the importance, you know, and realizing that it's not complicated, you know, uh, especially for me, I, I, I'm not the most fancy person, especially when it comes to cooking or, or doing these certain things. Um, but I don't need to be, you know, as long as I'm, for me, the, the plate method is like my go-to, you know, I make sure that when I'm making my salad or I'm making my meals, you know, like majority of it is vegetables, you know, and then, and then I make sure my, my protein's on there. And, and normally and sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll throw in some carbs, you know, it's, it was weird. Like that was just so, it's just, it's amazing how something so easy, you know, like, and, and you see, you see results you can, and you can teach it. It's, and it's learnable and it's understandable. And I, I feel sometimes I even feel, why, why didn't I do this sooner? You know, how come I couldn't grasp this? You know, it's, and a lot of it was having that new, new nutrition coach for myself to just be there. Like when I kind of faltered or when I was struggling or, um, when I felt like, how do I do this? What do I need to do? You know, it's like, Hey, Joanna, how do I do this? You know, well, <laughs> you know, just having someone there to guide you is just, it was just life changing. I love that. And you know, it's funny. I just interviewed a little bit ago, someone else that lost a hundred pounds. Um, like a few minutes ago, we just wrapped up to that, that podcast episode. He brought up the same exact thing. He said, Nicole, the plate method is just a game changer. It's so easy. And you know, one of the things that, that Josh was talking about is it, and when it becomes a lifestyle and second nature, it's not an active decision that you have to make to create a balanced meal now, probably. It's like, oh, I just need, I need some vegetables. I need some protein. I need a little bit of carbs. And in any situation you're in, you can make that plate method. You can make the balanced meal so that you don't feel like you're deprived, right? You don't feel like, oh, I'm going out to eat, so I'm gonna completely fail my nutrition plan. Like, hey, I can go out to eat. I can go to a holiday party. I can do what I wanna do. I can still live a healthy lifestyle and not feel like I'm missing out on anything. Correct. It's funny. Now when I go to parties, like that's, that's my dish, (laughs) you know, like I'm always bringing the vegetables and they're like, so this last, this last gathering, they're like, you're you're bringing vegetables. Right. And I said, of course I am, (laughs) you know, they're like, okay, we're not going to worry about it. I'm like, okay, I got you. (laughs) That's awesome. That's so great. What would you say is one of the best things? So you were a client and you know, you worked with Joanna for a long time with nutrition and transitioning to that coach role now, like what is one of the best things that's come out of it for you being able to help other people on their journey now? Um, I think the best thing in all honesty is, is it keeps me on track as well. You know, having to be there for others and to be on that journey, like for me, it's, 
it's it's my kind of own accountability because I don't, you know, Joanna's still around. Yes, she is, you know, but, you know, it's like what, because what is going to keep you on track, you know? So for me, a lot of that is just my own accountability because I feel like I need to be good for my clients um, as well as for me always learning more. Like there's so many different things out there um, and just being able to, to use information, um, find resources through the website. And I, I feel like I'm just always learning. Like I'm, I, I'm always being better than I was before, you know, and I don't think I would be continuing that process if it wasn't for being a nutrition coach. <laughs> I love that. You know, I think you clearly have a growth mindset and you're open to learning. And even as a client, we have to be like that too, right? We have to be open to, to learning new ways and I've definitely worked with people in the past where they're not very open-minded and the program is really tough because, you know, if you're not open-minded to trying new things, you came to me for a reason, right? You came to me because you want help. If you don't have that growth mindset and that willingness to try something new, how am I actually going to be able to help you? Right? Right. Right. So, Being a nutrition coach has helped you stay accountable. What are some things you've been able to help with your clients? You've been a nutrition coach for almost a year now. What are some of the things that you've been able to do with some of your clients at All Kind CrossFit? Um, I think just bringing new ideas that they never thought about, you know, and just kind of helping them along the way. Um, Being able to use my, my struggle, in all honesty, you know, my journey, um, all the information that I found that was just great, you know, being able to pass that on um, and knowing that it works, you know, knowing that if you follow the program, if yeah, you eat your vegetables, if you cut back on your Starbucks, if you make these little changes, not doesn't have to be very life changing, you know, but if you make these little changes, we work on it, we strive. It's no longer a habit, you know, that bad habit has now been replaced with something good, you know? So I remember one client, we just, she, she loved her Starbucks and I'm like, okay, what size do you get? She's like, I get a venti. Okay. Well, why don't we start with putting extra ice, you know? And then, so she did that and I'm like, okay, now what about we do the same thing, extra ice, but now get a grande, you know, the smaller size. And she was like, I can do that, you know? And then, so of course, then we tried to go to, to the tall, but she was like, it wasn't enough for me. I said, that's <laughs> fine. You know, we'll stick with the grande, make sure you're having the extra ice. Um, and she's, she's been, yeah. And so now she just does that. She doesn't even hesitate. You know, she doesn't ever get back to that, that larger size either. So it's just, I love the method of being able to, to just pick a habit, improve it, make it better. And then, then like how you said, it's, 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 you just do it. You know, you're not even thinking all the time. Like when I walk up to a table and I see salad, that salad is the first thing that goes into my plate. Like not even, not even thinking, not even looking what else is there. Like, I know that that's what I'm going for. I don't ever second guess anything. It's kind of like natural. That's the goal, you know? And I think what you were just talking about with, Hey, let's try an experiment. Let's do extra ice. Let's do a venti. Let's do something. Let's work on this together. What's realistic for you in creating that plan together with that. <laughs> with clients instead of what people think happens when you hire a coach. They just tell you what to do or you get in trouble for eating a, a piece of candy. And in reality, it's like, hey, we're going to work together to create a lifestyle that's going to fit with you. It's your life. I want you to feel empowered and and I want something that's realistic for you to, you know, maintain forever and not just right. a short amount of time. Yes, yes, definitely. And that that's for for me that has helped me. And you can talk from experience, right? I think one of the things that people always love is trying new recipes or different food ideas so they don't feel like they have to eat the same thing every day. And I know you've tried a ton of the Healthy Steps Nutrition (laughs) Recipes. Talk to me about what are some of your favorite recipes on the Healthy Steps Nutrition website? Uh, The pumpkin protein balls. Oh, and it's pumpkin season right now. (laughs) I know. I mean, that for me... um, whenever, so I always have some in the fridge, you know, so whenever I have that sweet tooth or I need something sweet or I need something to, to, in all honesty, to feel a little, you know, like non-restrictive, like I'm letting myself have something. I just, I always have that whipped up and I always go to that. Um, cause it's just, it makes me feel satisfied. It makes me not want anything else. Um, another one is the, the punk, the, the breaded punko chicken. Oh yes. Um, 
And that's something because my, my daughter, she's very picky and she'll eat it, you know, and she's just like, and she has no problem eating it. Um, and then of course I got to go with the egg roll in a bowl. Oh, that one is is so good. It's, it's so simple, you know? Don't tell my daughter, but she doesn't know that she's eating turkey. <laughs> <You know? laughs> well, now she does. You she's going to listen to this podcast. Yeah, I know, but shucks. Yeah, she's, I, I've never told her, but yeah, like she even eats it the way it's seasoned. Um, and then it's easy, you know, like I can make, I just got to have that, the chopped up coleslaw. I got to have some turkey and it's just so easy. I've been, I add the sesame seeds to it. And it's funny how, how elevating that makes the dish. <laughs> You know what? That's awesome. I love that you just have those simple recipes and, and you can talk from experience. And I'm sure that some of your nutrition clients have kids, right? That probably are picky eaters. And if you can say, Hey, my daughter doesn't even know that it's Turkey and she'll eat this. And you know, here's another recipe that that's a favorite in our family. Now people are going to go into those recipes and be like, okay, well, if Hoku's family likes it, then maybe my family will like it. And, and it gives them the confidence to try some new recipes and not feel like they're wasting money or energy prepping something that the family's not going to like. Correct. Yes. I love that. Any thoughts on someone who's listening to this podcast? Maybe it's someone in your area that's like, I need to make a change. Uh, what would the first step be for them to reach out to you guys and get started at All Kind CrossFit? Um, I think just un- just being open and understanding that they're not alone, you know what I mean, and that we're here to support them, you know, from the beginning to the end. Um, and it's not going to happen overnight. It's, it is going to be, you know, a, a process, um, but that they're going to have someone there, you know, that'll give them resources and knowledge. Um, and and I think for me, you know, personally speaking, someone who, who's been there, who's done it, who knows it works, that's kind of what I would tell them. And just start, just do it. You know what I mean? It's like, just, just do it. Yeah. There's literally nothing that there's no downside, right. To investing in your health, you feel better. You, you know, you're more confident, you're decreasing your risk for chronic disease. And, um, we'll put if the link in the show notes to reach out and schedule a free intro at all kind CrossFit meet, meet Mark and Joanna. They're um, absolutely amazing humans. We've gotten to, to meet them in person a few times. (laughs) at different events. And yeah, we're just so thankful for you guys. You guys have been partnered with Healthy Steps Nutrition for a long time now. And I just want to thank you for trusting us to help you on your journey and now trusting us to help all of your clients as well with their, oh, with their easy. Journey. Yeah. It's so simple. Like, it's funny how you always say that your, you know, nutrition made simple. It's, it is like, if you do that and if you continue to do that, it is like, don't, don't comp, I mean, don't, don't make it complicated. Just yeah. Get down to the foundation and just keep, yeah, keep it simple. I love That's it. Something it, else I would say too. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be simple for you to create that lifestyle. And the real value of a coach is keeping you accountable and someone to give you different ideas and suggestions so that you don't feel stuck, right? You shouldn't have sure. to feel stuck. You have someone to support you every step of the way. And you guys are doing absolutely amazing things in your community. And I'm just excited to be a part of all of y'all's journeys. (laughs) I love it. (laughs) I hope you enjoyed that episode with Hoku. One of the most popular questions I get asked from gym owners is how do I find a good nutrition coach for my gym? Or do you think I'll make a good nutrition coach? People will ask me, well, I first look at a few soft skills that really are important to help coaches build relationships with clients so that you can really make a meaningful change. You want someone that's empathetic. You want someone who walks the walk and who has really good follow through skills. You want someone who's a good listener. And when I think about someone who's empathetic, I cannot think of someone who would be more empathetic than someone who has been through the journey themselves. If you have been through your own transformation and you are thinking, I want to become a coach, click the link in the show notes so that you can learn more about becoming a healthy steps nutrition coach. All right. As promised, I want to give you a few suggestions as today is the first day of the last month of 2021. I don't want you to wait till January to make health a way of life. You can do that right now. So here are a few steps you might use to get started. Most people do not drink enough water. Start by drinking more water. Drink like 60 ounces of water per day. 
You might be thinking, Nicole, I just can't do it. Well, why don't you just try? Bring a water bottle with you. Carry a straw in that water bottle. You tend to drink more out of a straw. The next tip. Maybe you're like, Nicole, I'm already drinking water. I'm good with water. Why don't you try to add more vegetables into your lunch and dinner every day? Try to get half of your plate to be vegetables, about two cups of veggies for lunch and dinner every day. Maybe you're already doing that, or maybe you're like, that is not a realistic step for me. Try adding protein with every lunch and dinner with your meals. Protein, carbohydrates, and fats are the three macronutrients, the nutrients that provide us calories. And we wanna pair those three macronutrients together with every single meal and snack. I challenge you to start looking at nutrition labels, especially during the holidays. While there might be some holiday foods that are absolutely amazing, many of them are loaded with sugar. So flip the box around and take a look at the nutrition facts label. Four grams of sugar equals one teaspoon of sugar. So if something has 16 grams of sugar in it, that's four teaspoons of sugar per serving. Make sure you take a look at the amount of sugar in the food that you're eating. The next thing, try sleeping a little bit more. We know that sleep directly affects your cortisol levels and your ability to regulate hormones. You wanna try to get at least seven hours of sleep each day. Lastly, start moving. For these tips and more, click the link in the show notes. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. At Healthy Steps Nutrition, we believe something as fundamental as nutrition shouldn't be complicated, which is why we focus on a simple habit-based approach. Please make sure that you subscribe to this podcast and leave us a review so that you don't miss another episode again. We'll see you back here next week.